Oh my god. Are you sure this is the way? It's what the sat nav says. Oh, Google's telling us. Why? This is like a jungle. It is. <laughs> well, it says it's two minutes away, so. Who would put a yurt here? Oh, oh my god. You joke. Oh no. This is oh, oh my god. Oh, I didn't think it could get worse. Made it. Piece of cake. This shirt might not look much from the outside, but wait till you see what's on the inside. Come on. Hello. Now, where do we even begin with this year? I mean, the thing that stands out as soon as you walk in this room is the incredible bed. Look at this. It's like something from Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, but we were just reading that the owner of the year actually handmade this bed frame himself. How incredible is that? It is absolutely amazing. What an amazing touch. It's a unique bed. There's not another one like it anywhere in the world. Mm. That is insane. And then to the right of the bed, we have like a two-seater leather sofa that we can chill out on this evening. And then behind that, there's actually two deck chairs as well, which we can take out and sit on the lawn if we want to. There's a nice wood-burning stove in the yurt. Now, it's not that cold at the moment, but it might turn chilly later because we're literally in the middle of nowhere. We're, <laughs> we're on farmland in Cornwall so <laughs> it could turn chilly so we've got plenty of supplies to light ourselves a fire and luckily we've got some marshmallows with us we have a very big marshmallow <laughs> But as we walked in, we were welcomed with something really unexpected, a cream tea. How beautiful is that? What a nice touch. It is, and not just a cream tea, they've actually left us clotted cream in the fridge and also a little single individual cafetiere with some bagged coffee all down there, which we are gonna be partaking very, very shortly. We sure are. And it's all on this cute little table and chairs for two. This reminds me of one of these leaf tables, you know, where you pull them out. It reminds me of being at my yeah. house. I kind yeah, of feel yeah. quite at home. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then the good news is we can cook dinner in here as well because it's got a full working kitchen. It's got these two hobs. I think it's an induction hob on the top here. We've got a fridge with a little freezer compartment. We've got all our pots and pans in the cupboard underneath there as well. Everything that we might need. We've got barbecue outside as well. So we, we may have. Even have, we're here for two nights. We may even have a barbecue tomorrow night. Yeah, it's going to be tomorrow because it's very windy today. It is very windy <laughs> today. Yeah. Yeah, it's not moving though. So we're all good. It's very sturdy. <laughs> and then importantly, of course we've got a kettle which means that we can make our coffee in a minute to go with our cream tea and then above us as we sleep is this massive round skylight window for us to look at now obviously in the morning it's going to be very light so it might wake us up so they've actually left us a couple of eye masks on the little unit next to the bed which is nice touch again yeah nice touch and then next to the sofa as well we didn't mention there's a little wicker basket of blankets and there's woolly hats in there and hot water bottles luckily we won't need those at the time hopefully not <laughs> but you never know <laughs> another important thing wi-fi we have wi-fi in a year that is very important <laughs> <laughs> right over to you now for your area of expertise the bathroom but uh don't hit your head on the way in <laughs> for tall people like me you need to shrink come on in oh oh Ta-da! I won't turn the light on because there's an extractor fan and it makes a noise, but it's a beautiful little bathroom. Look at this wooden side with a nice sink. What an unusual mirror. I know, it's cool, isn't it? It looks like it's a it looks like they made it. it. Looks like a mosaic. They've made it by the looks. They've got all like different stickers. I mean, we know from the bed that he's very good at making things. Yeah, so they, they've, they've done that. That is nice touch. And I'm not sure about the shower because I'm very, very tall. Well, your head doesn't hit the ceiling. No. You can move that up on the pole as well. Yeah, just, I will, I just about fit. You're, you're, it's good enough. Um, we will see in the morning. What? Oh, it's dribbling, I nearly got wet. <laughs> We have towels and they are exfoliated. Love it. <laughs> I love that the uh, towels are held by rope as well. That's really cool. For those delicate eyes, you can, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those, but I'm assuming remove makeup. <laughs> that you're not wearing? I don't wear makeup, I'm, I'm too perfect. Oh, geez. Well, mind your head on the way out. At least I've put that there for you to. Uh, Let's do my friend know. Tyler that does things like this. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> This is just incredible. This is our first time ever staying in a year, and this is no ordinary year. I mean, this is luxury. 
that it's just got everything we need. It's even got USB charging points. It's insane. We've even got our own little bit of grassy area outside as well. And we can go and take a walk later and we'll show you some other bits around the area as well because there's some special features outside as well. But for now, tucking into that cream tea and apparently he's going to bed, so he done not want any. No, this bed, I've just realized. Two for me, sorry. Oi, this bed has got memory foam. Honestly. Oh, I'm thinking. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I'll see you in two days. Okay, I'm gonna eat your cream too. No, you won't. Oh, yes. This is possibly the perfect start. Like, we didn't even think of this ourselves, but they've thought of it and I they absolutely really love them for it. have the oh. small touches. We've used their coffee that they've given us. It smells really good. Now I'm, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> we could possibly have one every day. What? A cream tea. I don't think they're gonna give us one every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers. cheers. 48 hours in a year. Enjoy. Mmm, I'm going to. Mm. Sorry, what? <laughs> don't eat your mouth full. How often am I meant to eat? Don't eat your mouth open. <laughs> what? <laughs> you mean don't talk with your mouth full? Yes. Josh is working on getting us a Coke Zero and uh, check this bottle opener. How cool is this? It's a parrot. Right, time for dinner. Well, cheers. Cheers. Ching ching. Only one problem though, we did pick up a cookie dough dessert thing, I don't really know what it is, and it was to put in the oven and we don't have an oven. That was a moment of weakness. Yeah, moment of weakness. We, we got carried away and now we're like, we're mm. however, we might yeah. be able to improvise. We don't know how to, but it's we'll cookie see. dough. What, what, what can possibly go wrong? What possibly go wrong? Just cook it on the pan <laughs> Fry it in the frying pan. Fry. Ooh, fried cookie dough. <laughs> it may be. Okay, right, now the plan is get the fire started because Jason said maybe we could cook our dessert on here. Yeah, I thought maybe, because I'm assuming it's in like where those silver trays, we can pop it on the top. Plus Josh is getting cold apparently, so. No, well, there's just a bit of a nip in the air. I mean, if you'd seen his reaction to those fajitas, then he should be warm. For some reason, they were hot. They <laughs> were mild. Hot. They're mild. For my delicate palate. Anyway, like I get the job of the cooking, I get the job of the fire. Right, I've built my crisscross of kindling and fire lighters. I think I'm ready. I'm confident here. Yeah. Um, me too. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch. I'm only joking. I read the instructions out of the blue book, so. But I'm the one lighting the fire. But I gave you the information. <laughs> Going in. It says pop it on top, because obviously it's got all the oxygen underneath. All you can hear is them cows outside. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Right, this is the dessert. <laughs> so, we'll see how this goes, I guess. <laughs> well, we'll generally thought you going to put it in there then. Yeah, that's not plastic, is it? No, it's uh, oven proof. Uh, let's hope that doesn't stick. Oh. Yes. Oh, good night. Good night. Well, it's a peaceful morning here at the uh, It is foggy outside, but it is warm. The cows are mooing, mm. the birds are cheeping. And the fire alarm is beeping. Yeah. It was beeping. <laughs> it was beeping. Hence the reason the doors are open behind Josh, because we've got breakfast and yeah, the bacon set the fire alarm off. I haven't the got a And normally when you give it a little wave, they stop whilst does anyway. <laughs> Hello, smoke alarm. This one did not <laughs> want to stop. It didn't. So I had to pull it down, take all the batteries out. Now it's laying on the sofa. And it's very early in the morning as well. It was, this was at like seven o'clock in the morning. I haven't got used to that induction hob yet. It's very powerful. Bon appetit and cheers to another day in a year in the wild. Cha ching. Just taking me dishes for a walk. <laughs> Look how foggy it is. Just realized I've done the cooking. You should be doing this. Oh, cows. <laughs> We've got cows. The birds are so vocal. So we've just spent a few hours out and about exploring some of what Cornwall has to offer, but we have made our way back to the yurt and the sun is shining, which means it is a million degrees inside this yurt at the moment. So we've decided to head out onto the land and uh, check out one of the unique features of this place. Depending on how brave we are, we don't know how this is gonna go. So uh, come with us long, and find out. As long as we have a little go on the paddleboard. Now we had a quick walk over here yesterday evening and we were greeted by an entire field of cows just staring at us. And as we got around this corner, just here, there was one stood in the middle of the path and we were faced with it on the way back as well. We were, <laughs> we were stuck for about five minutes until it got out of our way. But today, they're all gone. They are. <laughs> We actually saw them moving them last night because this is a working farm, so uh, yay us. <laughs> he even said we could help. I was like, no. Yeah, we was like, no, we'd we better leave that to you. Oh, here we are. Look at this. How beautiful does this look? This is 
a private swimming lake. I don't know how far you can go because it does go around there, but I think we're just going to stick to this little... There's a platform in the middle, yeah. I think that's... Are you going to swim? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how confident... It says swim at own risk. But there are also two paddle boards here that we can use. So um, we're thinking we're probably going to try and give them a go. I'm assuming we'll connect that to our feet. Do we connect that to your foot? Uh, yes, you connect the little thing to your foot, yeah. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> we said we were going to leave our comfort zone this year. <laughs> this would definitely be it if we achieved this. Also, the lake looks very different in the sunshine today than it did last night when it was kind of grey and it was absolutely blowing a hoolie out yeah. of here. But it still looked really beautiful, didn't it? It really did, yeah. And then we got faced off by a cow at the top of the walkway. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get in that. No, I'll stick to the paddleboard. <laughs> Put it sideways and like roll onto it. Oh, oh. <laughs> we could be some time. Steady, steady. Oh, oh, he's on, he's on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You might need that. Oh, oh you need to took me out. <laughs> Off you go. You're free, free as a bird. You've got this under control, I believe in you. What's the worst that can happen anyway? You just fall in and get wet. Why would you say that? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty impressed. Look how far out he's gone already. I think the wind's blowing. He's, got, he's trying to battle against the wind. <laughs> Into the trees I go. <laughs> You're just spinning around in a circle. You have to do it once one side, then once the other side. I may never see him again. He may just be out there forever now. There we go, that's better. You've got it, you're getting the hang of it. He's back. Right, this was a test run. Safe, almost. Safe, almost. Boat's in the way. <laughs> right. Getting off is the trick now. Oh. Nailed it. High five. That was scary. <laughs> right, so it's Jason's turn. I can't it's, even turn the thing around. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? No. It's really not. And then also, when I was out there trying to like put the oar to the ground and move it, it's very deep. So yeah. I think the wind helps. No, the wind definitely pushes. Oh, jumping straight on there. Oh. 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 Well done. I'm caught under the dock though. You've done better than I did. Oh, cramp. Cramp. Oh, not not the cramp. time to have a cramp. I've got an oar. I don't know what I'm doing with it. You're going. At least there's video evidence. I'm on the water. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm in the lily pads. You're doing it. Don't go in the lily pads. You'll see, as soon as you go over there, it'll take you out. See? I think it's the wind. Yeah, the concentration on your face. I mean, you're right, it's quite scary. Oh, that water's chilling. <laughs> right, the aim is, I don't know, it's quite scary going over there, isn't it? It's quite scary going over there. Do you see what I mean? Uh -huh. There we go, sweet cheeks. Thank you. Oh, this is a life, eh? Yes. Successful paddleboard session. Proud of us. I'm proud of us. First time ever and we didn't fall in the lake. Nope. Celebrating with an iced coffee. Cheers. 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 Lovely job. Mm -hmm. I think it's safe to say I could live here. I don't object. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one time we'll be brave enough to go in the lake. Like swim. Maybe we'll bring someone else. Well, one step at a time, eh? <laughs> right, I'm going to attempt to cook dinner, hopefully without setting the smoke alarm off. No, so this morning did end up unplugging that, but like Jason said, we've got the doors, doors open. open. We've managed to, we've figured out this wind, these window windows opens. open. We've got the toilet window open. Yeah, we've got a fan as well. We've got a fan gonna I'm going to put on, and I'm going to do it on a lower temperature. Yeah. I've got this. So I've got this. Crossed. Well, that was far more successful than breakfast. You didn't set the fire alarm Didn't off. set the fire alarm off. It's oh, taken so me proud of you. a ridiculously long Ooh, amount of time <laughs> to cook this oh, because yeah. I've had it on a low heat. Yeah. And effectively, this is breakfast for dinner. Story is, we were, <laughs> we were going to have a barbecue, yep. but it's actually been really breezy. So we didn't want to risk that after Ooh, God, setting off the smoke alarm this morning. Oh my God, so, that's um, sausages. The sausages are in the pan. <laughs> so we've decided, as it's our last evening of the year, and we've just had that dinner, to come out for a walk and burn it off. Because there's a little nature reserve just down the road, and uh, already we've come across this really... 
What? Just looking to see what that was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's something, but there's loads of like ivy all growing over it. Okay, cool. Speaking of ivy growing over it, as I was about to say, we've already come across this abandoned tin mine, which looks really cool. Now, these are scattered all across Cornwall. We've seen loads since we've been here, but being up close to one is kind of cool. And the sign on the way into the nature reserve said, there's loads and loads of wildlife in here, including poisonous adders. Oh, I think that was poisonous adders. Also, it says no swimming, so it makes me wonder what the hell is in there. Let's go have a look, shall we? Oh, this is an adventure. Whoa. Oh, I found Whoa. it. You found it? Yeah, I'm going swimming in it. <laughs> well, good, because it says no swimming. <laughs> well, it's an absolutely beautiful lake, but uh, even though it says no swimming, there's two people swimming, so um, they're moving on. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's very open, it looks very deep. I mean, we weren't going in the other one, apart from on them paddle boards, but hey. This is starting to get a little bit adventurous. <laughs> yeah, just a little, and there's lots of bugs. Oh God. Oh, this is awesome. It's like a little broad wall. It is, and there's an old wall here as well, like an old stone wall. Wonder what that is. Well, no, actually, it's a complete square, so it's another ruin of something. Oh, wow. Wasn't a good idea to wear your white shoes. No. I mean, I've made it across. It's it's uh. fine. You can do it. I believe in you. You like Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> if you, yeah, over to the yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. I don't think I've ever seen moss hanging off of trees in the UK before. Oh wow, what a view. It's pretty, isn't it? It is beautiful. So that's where the uh, tin Oh, mine. the tin mine, yeah, you can see it just there, yeah. It looks like we've come a really long way, but we really haven't. We really haven't. Well, I am really glad we went and done that walk tonight because I think that took us both by surprise. It was absolutely beautiful out there. But as you can see, all of the excitement of today, <laughs> Josh is ready for bed. Time for bed. Means we get one more night in this incredible bed. Oh no, this bed's coming home with us. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna miss it. If we could <laughs> get this in the car, we would. Oh yeah. Oh well, no night, night. Good night. <laughs> Well, it's time for us to say goodbye to this luxury uh, in the country. We are certainly going to miss this bed, but click here if you want to see more of our adventures around beautiful Cornwall, including the Eden Project and the incredible seaside town of St Ives. We'll see you over there. Bye. I want to go. Get the bed in the car. And everything else. <laughs>